продолжаем. Had a great hunt this morning here in the Ozark Mountains. Always fun to tag a bird at home. But in addition to that, it's great to bring home some fresh wild meat. So we took some time in the field this morning, took a few pictures, whatnot. Decided we'd bring it back here because I wanna share my techniques for removing all the meat off a turkey. The first thing I do when dressing a tom is to remove the beard. Take the beard out, you can pull it out, or if you're scared you're gonna break some hairs off, you can take a knife, trim just a little. There's a big cartilaginous plate at the bottom, so that's not gonna tear out, and just twist it a little, pull, and then you can just take your knife and trim the flesh off, that way it won't stink later. Other than that, it's dry, no problems. Got a great beard for display. Then I start skinning right down the sternum. Once I've got him where I want him, I simply make a slight incision, not too deep. I wanna be cutting into the breast meat. And then I'm cutting out, I'm cutting away from the turkey so I'm not dragging feathers into the meat. I just wanna work my way down and I'm pulling up as I go. If I happen to cut through a feather, just pull it out away. And that's one reason I like cleaning turkeys in the yard because you're gonna have some feathers come off and if you did this in the garage or house, you'll be cleaning feathers for a long time. Now that I'm inside where I'm not cutting feathers, I start skinning, just separating the hide from the meat. The yellow is fat. In this time of the breeding season, they won't have a lot of fat left on the gobblers. And the more you free up, the easier it is to remove the breast just a little bit later on. Once I've skinned out the breast area, I start working down the top of the thigh. Inside the hide, cutting away, and then skin that back. There's a fair amount of meat on a wild turkey drumstick, but it will be a little tougher because these rascals have been running around, not standing in a poultry house like the turkeys you buy at a market. Wild turkey drumsticks and thighs are excellent meat. I don't want to waste that, so after I have it skinned out, I separate the meat from the thigh and the skeleton of the turkey, pull a little bit, and now we'll expose the ball joint. I trim around the ball joint and I can remove the entire leg. I have a lot of meat that some turkey hunters might not utilize, but goodness, that's a pound or two of incredible meat. In a little bit, we'll just take a saw and cut this off here and flay the muscle off the bone. The only thing left is saving the breast. The breasts are now very clean and super easy to remove. And I simply work down the sternum, going real close, because what's called turkey tenders or turkey tenderloins are right inside there. You can see the separation right here. That's the turkey tenderloin. We don't want to put a big knife through that, so we flay right next to the bone, make sure I get all the meat, and you can take your finger or knife and just free that off of the crop, just flaying it off there, almost like cleaning the fish. And just about have this one all removed. Once I've separated the breast meat from the sternum, I simply go underneath to make sure no skin is attached and I can lift out the entire breast. And there we have the whole turkey breast, including the tenderloin. I repeat this process for the other half of the breast. There's the entire turkey breast. And depending on where you shot, you wanna look for little spots in here. There might be shot in there. There's none in this one. I was holding on the top of the head. And of course I use a long beard XR and they're really a tight pattern. You don't wanna cook this with shot in it and potentially hurt somebody's tooth in your family. So you can kind of feel it, see, but there's no marks where there's shot in this one. Simply take this in, trim a little fat and the connective tissue off some of the shiny stuff. We're ready to have some supper. If you'd like to learn more about the Growing Deer team's techniques to chase turkeys throughout the entire season, please subscribe to the Growing Deer channel and give us a thumbs up.